tape of this last explosion. Maybe we can uh, pick up something here. We, as we said, we were talking about what was going on, and then suddenly there was a big explosion in the second building. Many descriptions of this plane, a twin engine, not quite an airliner. It could, in fact, be a commuter plane. Let's uh, listen in now as it's described from WNBC's chopper. Can you see down to the street to see what might be going on down there? Are there signs of, of uh, the people that have evacuated the building? Um, what, what can you tell? Can you see anything down there? Or are you simply not close enough at this point? We are simply not close enough right at this point. Uh, we are following the smoke in the air right now. There are several boats and watercraft, as we can see, in the river right now. We'll try to get a better vantage point and see what we can see on the ground. It's a little difficult from the air because the buildings kind of shadow the streets, but no doubt a lot of activity on the ground right now. And um, in terms of the firefighting capabilities, when you get up to this high level, uh, I assume the firefighters have got to get up there and, uh, you know, fight it from inside. Oh. Uh, if you're taking a look now, you can wow. see that we've just had another explosion, and that is considerably lower. And is that in the other building? Is that, that what I'm witnessing? That, that apparently does look like it is in the other building at this point. And that looks to be lower, which means there, um, you know, obviously there are considerable numbers of stories above that explosion that we just saw. Perhaps we can get another look from one of our sky cams that can take a different angle. Yes, you can tell that it now appears that both buildings um, are Back off. suffering some kind of damage this morning. My colleague, um, Glenn Walker, has just joined me here in the studio. And Glenn, um, I don't know if you've off. received any other information, but perhaps you can, again, um, go over what we do know at this point, which is pretty much visual and what eyewitnesses have told us. Well, I would hate to speculate, but um, man, I have like a completely separate incident right there. I mean, it, this, this building has been the subject of terrorist attacks in the past, and uh, I certainly want to, wouldn't want to speculate at this time, but that is a separate explosion. Yes, it is. In the other building. Now, we have tried to get a hold of the Port Authority, which manages the building. We haven't been able to get an answer. Uh, we did call MTA, and the MTA says a subway service as of right now is continuing, so that's not a problem because it's obviously very below, but I imagine that will change very quickly after what we just witnessed. That was a dramatic explosion. Again, it was in the separate tower than the one to where the plane just crashed into about a half hour ago. Yes, and um, again, there was no sign of any airplane close to that explosion. No. All right, we no, are going to uh, re-rack the tape and show you what happened just moments ago, and that was an explosion in the second of the twin towers. And we're gonna watch it for ourselves Yes. It appeared as though a second plane coming from behind crashed into the second of the World Trade Center towers. A first plane happened about 15 minutes ago, struck one of the towers in the upper floors, a horrible tragedy, and now, just moments ago, another plane has struck the Twin Towers. Of course, the target of previous terrorist attacks that possibility leaps to the mind again. We are seeing the second Twin Tower, uh, the upper levels, an enormous explosion. It appeared to us as we watched the videotape twice now that a second plane had crashed.